Hi everyone. Um, so continuing with the Pine Phone discussion. I noticed when watching uh, other videos of Pine Phone, uh, nobody's actually demonstrating it as a phone. They're demonstrating it as a tablet or a workstation, right? Uh, typing in command line code. I mean, uh, what kind of reviews are we are we talking about here? Nobody. I don't think anyone is doing this kind of thing I'm doing. We're actually testing it to be phone functional. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to point that out that uh, everyone else, I, you know, uh, I, I, I guess, I guess these guys, these Linux guys, think the phone is just for them, and, it, and it's all about, you know, putting code in, but not answering the phone or fixing all the bugs in it. Anyway, speaking of bugs, so my last video I talked about um, the phone not ringing when a call came in. I discovered some other things afterwards. After that call, my SIM card dropped out of existence. Uh, I had to reboot the phone to get it to come back. And then I also noticed uh, I, I made some test calls into the phone, answered them, and then hung up. And they and there weren't logged. Only the only the phone calls that did didn't ring were logged. That's kind of bizarre behavior, but anyway. So so now the phone rings at the moment, but I'll bet you it's inter intermittent scenario. So, another thing I noticed too is if you don't answer the phone and you leave a voicemail message, there's no, there's no alertness that there's a message waiting for you, nothing. It's, it's, it's uh, again, a, an unusable phone for daily use. It, it's actually not a, a usable phone for any kind of use. It's just, a, it's just a toy for Linux people. It's not a phone at all. That's what I'm discovering. So, we got, I got a new message too uh, when I rebooted the phone to fix the disappearing SIM card. I got an error message about uh, unable to read who am I and I'm not sure what that means. I haven't looked into it. Don't really care at this point. Um, the other thing I also noticed too is uh, the, the battery level keeps changing. It's 20%. You shut it down. You start it up again and then it's 30% and then two minutes later it's 25%. And, um, I, I suspect the battery level indicator is not accurate. So. Anyway, I'm still waiting for some comments about uh, an actual operating system that actually works as a phone and has all the features necessary to be used as a phone. Uh, and so far, it's been very quiet in the comments. Uh, where are you guys? Come on, Linux guys! This is your this is your time to sing. Get, show me show me the software that makes it all work. I'll be waiting. Thank you. Talk to you next time.